our next guest, our next speaker, is a lady who lives in Scotland and she uses her channeling gift to support people around the world, the whole world, offering personally channeled messages from her dragons and from her workshops and from her retreats. And uh, I hand you over to Alfidia Harara. Okay, hi everybody. I am Alfidia Arara. I am the founder of the Dragon Wisdom School, which I founded in 2013, and also of Elemental Beings Limited here in Scotland. So we have recently moved over from Merlindale, the land of magic and the Scottish borders, to the ancient land of Dal Riada which is on the west coast of Scotland, um, Argyll, and we're just uh, three miles away from the sacred sites of Kilmartin, the two stone circles, and all the stone alignments, which of course are lined up astrologically with various sunsets, and um, but mostly they are funneling the energy through the ley lines, and they're known in Scotland, um, all of the UK really as the Dragon Lines and I'm going to be teaching you about them today and I'm going to be channeling because I am a dragon channel so I'm going to be channeling the new earth dragons and we're going to be focusing on earth healing in this session and the work that I do with thousands of others around the world working with the dragons to um, support the new earth the birthing of this new earth template as we move further into fifth dimensional consciousness and for those who just took part in my rainbow merkaba dragon retreat at the solstice we were opening up the gateway for the template of the seventh dimensional earth but if you're new to working with dragons and those phrases are not familiar to you yet stay with me and i will begin to explain some of the terminology i'm using and the work that I am asked to do with the Dragon Kingdom. Okay, so I started off working with dragons after I wrote my first book, Messages from Nature's Guardians. This book um, was about my experiences of meeting the different elementals. After I'd been bedridden for a year and a half, unable to move, and um, over three years unable to tolerate any artificial light. So I really went through the dark night of the soul when I was 23. At the time I had a high powered political career. I was working for the Shadow First Minister, which is the opposition leader party um, from the age of 19 whilst I was a university student and then after I graduated. And obviously that was not my path to be an environmental um, policy officer, advisor in the political world. Um, my background is I have a, a geography um, and an environmental science degree, so all about the earth. And so when I had to learn to read write and I learned to walk again, when I started to walk outside, I became aware, bear in mind I hadn't been outside for three years, I became aware of like energies on plants and trees and flowers and just life force that I hadn't seen before and then I opened up clear audiently and I was able to hear them and they channeled all these messages which my book was released in 2009 and um, it got a lot of attention uh, because nobody was really talking about the environment so much then spiritually and uh, in the book I'd asked about dragons because my husband um, is also an earth healer, he's a homeopath and before he met me he had been asked to open up these dragon portals, he's a Merlin Vortex wizard too in Wales and I was like wow dragons, why did no dragons come to me? But um, it was after the 21-12 shift I had a retreat group up Mount Shehalion which is the famous mountain in Scotland known as the Hill of the Fairies and the ley line from Shehalion runs all the way down to the pyramids, the Great Pyramid of Giza. So I had two people in Giza anchoring the energy there and there was a, a big group of us in torrential rain as usual when you're doing earth healing work. And we thought we were just working with crystal skulls, healing the land and we were going to work with the connecting with the fairy kingdom and the fairies took us into this golden dragon 
uh, which was to sleep and we had to wake up the golden Shehalion dragon, which you can see a picture of a psychic artist um, painted the dragon and it's on the website of the Dragon Wisdom School. But that really kick-started my dragon work and activating all the earth dragons and I was asked after I'd had a baby, I um, had a baby in 2012, when I first came back after my maternity leave I was asked to run a full moon workshop and it was a dragon workshop and then a full day dragon workshop to clear all our karma and um, karma of humanity with the dragons and my whole journey kicked off there. So the dragons come to you when you're ready to connect with them and you have found yourself here obviously on this wonderful uh, summit day where you've got lots of facilitators now. When I started there was very few people working with if any dragons. There was a lovely lady in Brazil, Anna. Um, I'm not sure if she's on this call series but um, we were we were sort of just a few of us and then Val set up World Dragon Day and it's sort of spiralled which is um, wonderful and now of course we have this offering through um, Kevin today. So what is I, I am going to offer with you? Well I am a channel so what that means is that I can be the direct voice for whatever being I'm asked to channel. So I channel star beings, I channel fairies, elementals, angels, and they're all sort of through my elemental being um, website business. All my past courses are recorded, you can access them. But the Dragon Wisdom School is purely for dragon. There's lots of free information. You can join free and um, join the newsletter and you can access all the past work we've done with the New Earth Dragons. But these are dragons that were residing deep within the earth core. They were waiting, just waiting for humanity's consciousness to be of a high enough frequency and waiting for the vibration of the earth to be a high enough frequency. So we went through the 212 famous shift uh, which a lot of you will know about, that was the end of the Mayan calendar and now we're into the Aquarian Age which started, well we were in lockdown actually in Scotland in 2020, winter solstice of 2020 and that is now speeding up uh, the Earth's frequency and basically we're becoming more intuitive if we're open to it, more psychically aware and more conscious in our lifestyle choices and the movement away from the I self to the collective whole and to wanting to give our time and our healing abilities as an offering to the guardians of the earth, the elementals and today's focus is the dragon kingdom. So the dragons are in what I've been given by them and how I work with the dragons. Many people work with dragons in many different ways. Um, dragons are beings of transformation and change but they will help you to transform, to go through your inner ascension, your inner um, resurrection, your dark night of the soul, whatever it is, you know, word terminology you like to use, your divine alchemy within. So we all have the power to transform our thoughts, our lifestyle choices, our emotions, to let go of karmic patterning, to let go of past life trauma. This is what we're all here about. We have this great opportunity as humanity to really fast track our ascension process. Now, other people have said, well, what is the ascension process? The ascension process is really a movement from one place of being into another place of being, which is of higher frequency, where we are living with um, higher frequency states of being, love, peace, joy, happiness, rather than being caught in the mire of like fear, anger, greed, um, apathy. There is a scale, you can probably find it on the internet, which shows the frequencies of states of being and it's a really good one to um, look at and it's just really this movement to enlightenment, this reconnection with source, remembering that we're not just physical, we have souls, we have beings in many different realms that are not the physical realm and that we can communicate with them through our sixth sense. And we all have a sixth sense. Some of us are born quite open. Some of us walk into body like I did um, when I went into a coma. Um, I had a soul swap and that's why I became so psychic. That's why I was able to see 
all this that I couldn't before when I was like a scientist, but I always felt very connected to the earth as the previous soul, Fiona, and I really felt connected with the plants and the trees and all of nature. So I always had that running through my life. And so maybe you have different themes like you'll enjoy healing, you maybe really enjoy healing humans or working with children, maybe you're drawn to the animal kingdom, maybe the crystal kingdom, maybe now you're feeling the call of working with the earth more and how do you get into that. And so I'm just going to let the dragons um, guide us today. Um, the new earth dragons are of fifth dimensional frequency and above. They are carrying the codes of the new earth. They're carrying the template and the dragons like job is for earth healing is to open up the dragon gateway portals, the big vast energy resources within the earth and to clear the ley lines, the energy lines because a lot of them have got choked. They get affected by human thought. They get affected. I was at a big battlefield at the weekend. Um, it's quite a famous one, um, Bannockburn and Stirling. Um, and it was it was the anniversary actually of Bannockburn. So it's interesting that I ended up there because I always have crystal skulls and dragons with me anywhere I travel. Um, I work a lot with Crystal Kingdom to heal the land and they just go on, they are a consciousness. They know what they're there to do. And I'm the physical vehicle that gets them round. <laughs> to the places they need to go to. So I had no intention of going to Bannockburn. I was taking my son to football. I thought he was having a normal day out as a family, but no, there we go. There's always earth healing work opportunities. When you say surrender yourself to being of service. So I live a life of being of service to Mother Earth. That's my choice, that's my path. And that's what I put out there. So many beings come and they ask me to run courses, they ask me to help people individually, they ask me to take health healing groups out and that's part of my mission. So maybe if you have some call for that work too, which is why you've been drawn to listen to me as a facilitator and speaker today. So just come forward with an open mind and um, open your heart as well. The communication with the dragons is through the heart. Uh, we will be doing some meditation, I will be doing a live channeling have got an invocation which um, I will uh, read through and you can just repeat afterwards but we can make it available maybe in some of the text um, on the literature that goes out for this course today through the seminar. So the dragons are keen, they're anxious, I can feel them behind me to get started. They're not anxious, they're never anxious but they're making me anxious because they want to get started. So um, yeah, welcome. So some of you may be very experienced working with dragons, some of you this might be your first experience and I'm really conscious. I want this to be a totally inclusive experience. So if you feel that you're like, I don't understand some of the terminology or you would like some clarification or you even want to share anything that happens. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to be live. I was in double book. So this is a pre-recorded one. So you can't access me live, but you can access me through Facebook, through the Dragon Wisdom School. I answer questions on there, Instagram, and through um, the email as well, info at elementalbeings.co.uk, because the Dragon one is unfortunately broken and we've not got it fixed. I've just been told that in the last couple of days, the contact form doesn't work. So if you're trying to communicate that way to get hold of me, it won't work. But social media is ideal or the other email. Okay, everybody. Let us get ready to begin. So I would suggest um, you have yourself a glass of water. You gather any crystals you want to have around you. And we're just going to bring the energy down. The dragons will speak a lot slower through me. I am Scottish, we speak very fast. Uh, in Scotland, most of us, so um, It'll be easier to follow me if English is not your first language and you're listening to this today when I'm actually channeling because dragons speak quite powerfully and quite slowly. But we'll do our invocation. I will give you, I will make the words accessible and you can do this at any time, but it's good to do and you can listen to this course as often as you like as well. So you might want to just close your eyes and repeat silently in your head the intention if that resonates for you. I call upon the dragon consciousness. 
to connect with me now. I call upon my dragon allies and guides to help me awaken my inner ancient dragon wisdom. I offer my skills and knowledge to assist with the creation of the new earth template, to support the evolution of human consciousness and Mother Earth's ascension process. I welcome your healing assistance and my service in the highest and best way now. Adonai. So just allowing the energy of your invocation and the dragons you've called forward to interact with your auric field. Taking a couple of deep centering breaths. As you allow the sound of the singing bowls to relax your central nervous system, knowing you are safe and protected, loved and guided at this point in time. Allowing the dragon light to clear away any density, any darker energies, any stress from your auric field now. We ask the dragons to Open up our clown chakra at the top of our heads so we can connect with source light up above. And we ask the dragons now to breathe their fiery healing cleansing light down through our chakra system. Purple chakra at the top of our crown. The third eye chakra, indigo blue, the centre of our forehead. The seat of our clairvoyance, our ability to see the dragons and into the dragon realm. Bringing the energy down to the throat chakra, beautiful turquoise blue. our neck, chakra of our telepathy, so we can commune through thought with the dragons and other light beings. Down to our heart chakra, beautiful green. Possibly you see your higher chakra pink well, higher heart. This is the seat of your clear sentience, your ability to feel the beautiful, powerful dragon energy around you, to receive guidance from them through feelings. Bringing the energy down to the solar plexus, the yellow, golden chakra at the diaphragm, chakra of personal power, asking the dragons to help you with any areas of your life where you feel you are not in your full power, maybe a person, maybe a situation, maybe a health issue, maybe a past life trauma. Don't panic if you get visions. Just allow yourself to observe and witness and know the dragons are working on 
and increasing your energy vibration, clearing out any stuck areas in your chakra flow system, transforming and transmuting to the loving light of our divine source. Now we bring the light down to the sacral chakra, creative chakra, abundant chakra, sexual chakra, orange chakra, just below the belly button. Feel that opening now, funneling divine inspiration, creative power and wisdom to you now. Now we move down to the root chakra, the red chakra at the base of the spine. Chakra of security. Grounding. Allowing the energy to flow down the spine through the chakra vortexes. Now down your legs, down into the earth star chakra beneath your feet, often seen as a black chakra. So it's your seat of your soul power where all your wisdom is held for your soul potential. Take a moment to acknowledge your soul's potential. Allow the dragons to show you any insights into your future path, your abilities, and your work with them. Now, see, feel, sense, notice your beautiful grounding roots of light. Activating them from your feet chakras, burrowing down, 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 down through the earth layer, the soil layer, the rock layer, the crystal layer. Perhaps a crystal dragon is waiting for you in a crystalline chamber. Is there a crystal wishing to assist you with your earth healing journey, with your work in your ascension path, the creation of the new earth? Allow the crystal dragon to come forth. Ask why this crystal is supporting you. Ask for wisdom, ask for guidance. You can receive all this knowledge. Now sending your roots down, 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 down into the centre of Mother Earth. Allowing Mother Earth to embrace you. Allow yourself to be open and loved. Take a moment to give love to yourself, to bless yourself. Ask the dragons to bless you as you sit in Mother Earth's heart portal. Feel her love welling up for you. Ask for a message from her about your path at this time. Now, just allowing your energy settle and allowing your consciousness to rise back up into your heart centre. Feel the preparation shift the dragons have performed upon you. 
You may feel lighter. You may feel more energy. You may feel inspired. You may have gained some inner knowledge. We ask the dragons to put protective light around us today. And just taking another deep breath. Starting to wiggle your fingers and toes. And allowing yourself to come back round. Fully into body. Now. Have a drink of water. Write down any knowledge, wisdom you receive. It was an amethyst dragon that came to me. I have a amethyst citrine dragon personally carved in the skull, but the amethyst dragon came and said, it's, well, amethyst, it's the all around healer crystal, brilliant purple crystal, beautiful crystal. And they also the dragons that the amethyst are like the violet flame dragons. They're all about transformation, it's all about change. So changes are coming in the earth, changes are coming within you. So this is a mini workshop. So I'm having to do all my, you know, I, I do run hour and a half dragon workshops. So the meditations are going to be a lot smaller for you, shorter for you. But it's important to talk about why we started with a meditation like this. If you're wanting to work with earth healing with dragons, the key is to be very grounded and in your body. So a lot of people work with dragons and the upper chakras. But we really want to be rooted and grounded when we're doing any earth healing work in any situation, not just with the dragons. So, you know, that's a meditation you could listen to again if you're thinking I want to go out and do some healing work. You want your chakras to all be open because when you're doing earth healing work, it is very intuitive. There is no right or wrong. It's just intuitive feeling into a situation and it can change within a second because you're connecting with the earth energies, you're connecting with the guardians of the land. And so you want to be as open and receiving and have the energy flowing, but you want to have your protective light around you. So we'll call that the tuning in uh, meditation. And, you know, if there is any of the chakras that felt a bit stuck, you can focus with the dragons using their dragon breath. They like to use that exercise a lot of breathing their transformative light through our chakra system. And many of you will be on the higher chakras, the ones extended beyond the head, the 12 chakra system, but just kept it simple because I feel there'll be a lot of new people coming in through this session. And you know, if you want to take it further to learn about the more advanced working with the chakras, and there is no harm for those who are on the more advanced chakra developed system in doing a reconnection with the main transpersonal chakras again, and just having a reconnection to um, the dragons through that means. So now I am going to do a live channeling. Always exciting because I have no clue what comes through. Um, and the next one will be purely guided by the dragons. So I didn't let them, I let them speak through me there, but I didn't embody their energy, um, which I will do in the next one for you. So I'll basically kind of come out of body, let the dragons take over. You might have heard it's trans channeling, but in the past people used to do it lying down, totally out of it, couldn't remember anything. My energy system is quite unique. I can trans channel and sort of be bilocated, but let's not worry about that, um, how that all physically works. But just know that they will be like, we are the dragons, they'll be speaking directly through me from this point and I'll reconnect with you. Um, when we come back to the anchor healing. Okay, so I'll just have a drink before I channel. Um, if you've not seen live channeling before, sometimes my eyes do open, sometimes I close them. Usually I close them so I'm not just distracted. We live out in the most beautiful countryside. We look out onto the ancient Atlantic oak forest. And um, there's lots of trees and bushes and there's a lot of birds and red squirrels and things that move that can just distract you out the corner of my beautiful view that I'm looking at there. So that is just easier to close my eyes. 
and let them just come through me. Okay guys, so let's see what the new earth dragons have to say for us today. Greetings, greetings, greetings. We are the consciousness of the collective new earth dragons. It's a title we assigned ourselves. Before we were birthed, we were preparing the way for the Aquarian age to come into reality. We have been biding our time, waiting and waiting for when it was suitable and advisable for the ancient dragon portals to reawaken, which have been closed off since the Atlantean epoch, of course, the Earth's formation has changed. The Earth has been created all the time through volcanic eruptions and many of us New Earth Dragons are guardians of the volcanic structures. But many of us dwell deep within the core of the Earth and we come through the energy centres, often known as the chakras of the Earth. And many of you have assisted with our rebirthing and we are grateful for this. Now, at this time, the next stage, the new wave of consciousness, which we are to be seeding through the ley lines, is to awaken the great codes held within the rocks, held within your mountain ranges, held within the crust of the earth. This is a period where you are becoming more physically sensitive within your physical body vessels. For some of you, this may mean dietary changes, lifestyle changes have occurred or are requiring to occur. Some of you may have developed health issues as an awareness opportunity to look at the thought forms and patterns and vibrations you hold within your holographic matrix. Others of you may be being pushed to address past life karma that is now ready for releasing and some of you deep ancestral clearing work. Whatever stage you're on at your path, where you are on at your mission, we are happy to assist and be of service to you. We are willing and ready to connect you to the ancient knowledge you hold within your souls of the codes of the earth, of the consciousness of the earth, the land, the plants, the trees, the elements, and that you are one with them. You are all great souls of light and we are honoured and delighted that you are interested in re-establishing connection with the dragon kingdom. We are calling you to work with us to assist us, to heal with us, and in turn, we will help assist and heal your life. We will give you guidance, direction. We will show you ways forward. Most of all, we will show you how to love yourself unconditionally. And through loving yourself unconditionally, you are able to love us unconditionally. You are able to love all unconditionally. And ultimately, love of self, love of the earth, love, vibration, frequency is the key at this time. So take a moment, send love to yourself. Take a moment to focus on an area of your physical self. Perhaps there is pain here, perhaps there is a dislike of this part of the body. Perhaps there's an injury or a weakness. We will now send you a new earth dragon love bomb. Those who have blocks to receiving, allow this through. Allow yourself to receive, to receive our love. Allow yourself to receive our knowledge. Allow yourself to know it is safe to 
receive love, to experience self-love, to embody self-love. So we bring into your consciousness an area, a thought form, process, where you are being unloving to self, an action, a daily habit. Om Buryama Giyonu Ru Guru Apriyama Dariya Guru Apriyamu Shiriyama Katiya Katiya Katiru Angi Apriya Kya Katapuru Ambale Agasir Muniya Ha Shuru Angi Apriya Giri Agarbu Agari Alal Budya Katiya Sonu Aka Shura Kati Baike Go Fria Katiya Sdikadio Allow our dragon light language to permeate. Your frequency. Allow it to activate you to self care, self love, to remembrance of self and your skills, your gifts, your talents. Remember you are powerful. Remember you are of the light. Remember we are all one. And now we wish to offer taking you on a transmission through our channel today. This transmission will support you all, not only in your physical 3D earth walk experience, but support you all in deep remembrance of who you are, upgrading your energy matrix and performing an earth healing role for the globe, for all of humanity. We ask your permission to lead you on this journey. So now, prepare yourself for meditation. Prepare yourself. For a healing adventure. Know you are safe and cared for. Listen to our words, follow with your heart. Be open, be accepting, and know you are worthy. Closing your eyes and taking two deep breaths. Allow your energy to center. bring the colored light frequency your soul requires to support this journey today to you. Maybe green, it may be blue, purple, pink. Whatever ray of light your soul is asking for. Allow it to envelop your energy field. Feel the colour if you're unable to see it. Command the colour. Or be in divine acceptance of this process you are experiencing. Now, four new earth dragons have come to greet you. You feel their mighty presence. And they ask you if you wish to journey with them.
First, we take you to a new earth dragon temple deep within the earth. So it's a healing space to support you in your physical and energy matrix upgrade process. To receive whatever healing vibrational light code frequencies your soul is requiring for your own evolution. Enter into this space vibrationally. By activating your Merkaba light body vehicle, we are spinning two tetrahedrons, sexual geometry, which allows you to teleport into a higher dimension. Use your breath to center your energy. tell you now the healing work we wish to offer you at this time, the areas of your life perhaps, where there's discordant energy. And we ask if you're ready for some dragon transformation to help you with a vibrational shift into the higher consciousness, the higher frequency. granting us permission to begin this transformative work with you. Some of you require longer in this space, longer with the healing. And you are welcome to return and we will work our frequency with you. But the call has come out to ask for the support of the ancient dragon wisdom keepers and healers to assist with stabilization of the earth grid at this point in time. There is an energetic structure, a holographic matrix grid in which the earth resides within. There is her Merkaba, but there is another grid. There is the new earth grid. Many of you who hold keys for this in your matrix, keys are vibrational codes. And so for gateways to unlock for the evolution of the next stage of this new earth birthing, 
We are calling forth your light keys, keys that you developed in Atlantis, keys that you developed in other galaxies and star systems. These keys are just held within your matrix. There is no requirement for you to know where or their function other than you are a key carrier. This is why you are listening to this transmission. We have called you forth. Your four. New Earth Dragon Guides know the location physically on the earth you require to be taken to to release the key you carry vibrationally into the land here to your etheric light body allowing yourself now to journey with us on the crystalline waves sound of the crystal ball. Where do you find yourself? Where is your key to be released to? knowledge in your heart, let go of the analytic mind, follow your intuition, follow your guidance. You have performed a service today for the greater good of all. These keys will continue to open up pathways, bringing more light into the ley line network grid of the earth, allowing higher frequency vibrational currents to spin around. Releasing lower frequencies, rebalancing and recentering discordant energy, unchoking stagnation to the vital earth life flow of the planet, and stabilizing chaotic nodes. We are very grateful for your service. We are very grateful for your awakening. We bring you knowledge and wisdom for your soul progress going forward now.
now your journey back with us. Activating your Merkaba light body vehicle again. We guide you back in to your physical self with your consciousness. just now feeling the dragon consciousness starting to disconnect from you. Starting to wiggle your fingers and toes, rubbing the palms of your hands together. Perhaps you wish to put them over your eyes. Grounding yourself, anchoring yourself, taking a deep breath. Activating your inner smile from your heart up to your physical lips, giving yourself a hug, a blessing of gratitude, thanking yourself for all the wisdom you have received, for the service that you offered, and for the blessings going forth. Taking a deep breath, and when you feel ready, just opening your eyes and allowing yourself to come back round. Having a drink of water again to rehydrate yourself. Again, you might want to journal your experience, write down some notes. I always recommend that at this stage because you always think you'll remember, but then life gets in the way, and you know, this is fresh in the moment. If there's any wisdom, any information, any guidance, the dragons brought to you. On my courses where I'm live, I often channel messages for people. Um, so I'm unable to offer that today for you. But um, I went to the Atlantic Ocean. I was in the middle of the Atlantic, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, which is where the two plates um, meet deep in the Atlantic. So that's a big ley line, of course, because it's a big energy portal up the where the plates all meet and that's where you got all the seismic activity, the earthquakes and of course Iceland was birthed out of the mid-Atlantic ridge through the volcanoes, you have lots of underground volcanoes and that's where a lot of the new earth creation is happening is actually under the sea that we're unable to physically see. So wow, I feel very altered in my energy from that experience. Um, But yeah, that was really powerful. So just allowing yourself to come back onto Earth. Um, you can, of course, physically go to the places that you maybe saw if it was somewhere local, somewhere you maybe want to go on holiday to. Um, I take the dragon skulls and take them to the locations that they asked to go to and I just put them on the earth. I do use dragon light language to activate them, which is when I was making those noises. Um, but you can just ask them, could you just activate, could you perform whatever healing and just journey. You can journey, maybe you want to drum, maybe you want to um, just be in silent meditation, ask your third eye to open and use your energy field as a vehicle to release any keys or codes or frequencies and just see what information you receive, any guidance. Um, the key to this work is to keep your channel clear, to um, stay grounded and present when you're doing air healing work and to also anchor and ground yourself afterwards. 
So we're going to have a healing now to anchor and ground you just to finish off with my ten and a half inch dragon skull. Okay, um, so hopefully you can now see Anka. Anka is carved from Scottish Serpentine from North East of Scotland and um, Serpentine is a very heart soothing crystal. It is a great abundance crystal. She's very calming energy, don't you Anka? And does a lot of one-to-one -one healings. Every week I do um, crystal skull healings, hour healings that people can join, sign up to group healings and we often do dragon ones. I channel through what they're going to be healing us on. So um, she's one of the main most popular ones for people to work with. So if you've not worked with um, a dragon's crystal skull before, the crystalline head, which is carved, it's just the head, they have a whole etheric body that comes out the back. So she is the largest one, she's very heavy, which is why I keep moving her around. And I'll place her on my shoulder. And she um, has a really vast energy. So she's multidimensional, like all the dragons are. So she can connect to each of your consciousness just through your intention to make a connection with her. So you're just going to make a bridge, an etheric bridge from your third eye to her third eye, which is a horn. And it's a silent meditation. You keep your eyes open, keep staring at her or just close your eyes. And we'll just do a couple of minutes just where she'll work in your energy to ground and support you. Okay. Ishimur Wagana, Prianga Diaga, Sati, Vayabria, Gadia, Spidi, Bora, Dibaria, Gadia, Pitia, 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 So now Anka has anchored and grounded you. I'm going to put her down because she weighs so much. Whew. So, well, for me, that was a very powerful transmission. Those who are used to working with me, I'm sure you had quite a powerful experience as well. But I hope everybody that is new to my work with the dragons had an experience as well. And um, happy to invite you to engage with me as i said at the start at any time and um, just like to thank you all for being present thank you to kevin for organizing this dragon summit and just be very aware that after you've listened to this you might want to go out into nature you want to maybe just have a drink center your energy be calm for 10-15 minutes after because you will have had an alteration in your energy field 
you may get dreams tonight, the dragons might come to you more in your meditations. Um, just be open to whatever comes through and you can listen to the meditations as many times as possible. So um, just to remind you the website dragonwisdomschool.org and elementalbeings.co.uk that's where um, all my free resources are as well and um, it has been lovely to be with you as part of this summit um, today. Thank you so much.